Now, when we look at the condition, what we have is a 14-year-old female, and the symptoms displayed are that the perimeter of her right thigh is 8 centimeters smaller than the left. And doctors let have said, basically, you're looking at skin and bone. You can see here just the arrows indicating the smaller size of the leg. And not only was the leg smaller, uh, but walking was also painful and movement very difficult. Now, when it comes to explaining a condition, doctors let have said, look, even a nutritive function of the femoral nerve was affected. So not only motion and sensation, but also the nutrition supply to the muscle. And that resulted in this nerve injury resulted in right thigh atrophy, as well as pain and movement problems. So the treatments done were 45 treatments in the summer of 2016, and each treatment was approximately 25 minutes. Now, what was done for treatment is lumbar 3 and 4 along the femoral nerve root, and you can see this indicated here by the red and blue arrows. And these treatment points were done at 50 hertz and then again at 1,000 hertz. And each time, each frequency was for one minute. So you had a total of four minutes on the stationary points. And in addition to that, you can see here by the scanning lines along the right side of the lumbar 3 and 4 at 1,000 hertz for five minutes. Now, not only did he treat the femoral nerve root, but he also treated along the femoral nerve pathway. And he started at the top of the thigh down to the knee doing four points along the inside of the leg equally spaced and he done 50 hertz for two minutes and then a thousand hertz for two minutes at each point for a total of 16 minutes and the results well for the first time in a long time this girl had no pain or lameness in her leg and not only that but the perimeter of the right thigh was now increasing from 31 centimeters to 34 and a half centimeters, Dr. Zledev had said, look, there's muscle now visible. And he considered this quite remarkable given the difficulty in regenerating nerves and the biggest difficulty or the most difficult aspect is to regenerate the nutritive function of damaged nerves, which is what's been happening in this case. Now for other therapies, she was undergoing standard physiotherapy. And the doctors at the hospital were quite impressed with the progress made with coma therapy. Now, if you look here at the notes, what we have, the official diagnosis in Latin, which basically says right femoral nerve injury. And if you look at this diagnosis, it took several hospitals and a lot of time for the family, as well as multiple batteries of tests for this girl, simply to arrive at this diagnosis. And after this, well, the hospital said, look, there's nothing we can do. So you can go somewhere else to see if you can find some healing, but we actually don't know of any place in Bulgaria. Which makes the significance of the case quite remarkable. And I want to say thank you for watching, and a very special thank you to Dr. Zledev for submitting the case. And just for some background, Dr. Zledev is a medical practitioner with over 40 years experience, including heading the cardiovascular unit of a large hospital. We'll see you next time.